Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Captain Idahosa finally set the record straight with a Doe governorship election. How I'm involved. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today. Captain Idahosa is, is, uh, is an indigent of a Doe state. Is also one of the high chiefs. Is one person who, you know, is a, is a close ally to the person of Adams Oshomole, especially now at this election, uh, and is against Gordon Obaseki because, I mean, you cannot support PDP and APC at the same time. He's on the APC train and is one person who has said to Governor Gordon Obaseki, uh, you, go, you are going to be unseated from that position. Governor Gordon Obaseki has also retaliated. Uh, war of words has begun between, between the two of them. Uh, Captain Daosa also said that uh, Gordon Obaseki was trying to, you know, uh, get rid of his farm. Uh, a lot of a lot of things have happened. It's been back and forth with both of them. But finally, the captain. Uh, he's, a, he's a business tycoon. He's a billionaire. Uh, I heard people say he's a billionaire. He's one person who is well known in a Doe state, you know, a philanthropist. Uh, anyway, my people, he's setting the record straight between himself and um, the Goal governorship, you know, because a lot of issues, a lot of matter has come up. And he's right now setting the record straight to say, this is the crux of the matter. This is where I stand. This is what it's all about. Well, people, relax, sit back as we give you all the details with regards to him straight keeping the record straight on what has been going on between himself and the Edo State election. There have been reports of an ugly unfolding booing incident that took place outside the palace of our royal father, the Oba of Benin. On Saturday, July the 25th, 2020, during the visit of members of the National Campaign Council of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the PDP entourage, including the governor, Edo State governor, and the governorship candidates of the All Progressive Congress, and AP, AP, PDP governorship candidate, Governor Gordon Obaseki, were reportedly booed by coming in and out of the Obas Palace by some crowds of mostly young, young boys, according to the media reports, said Idausa. Some members of the crowd who reportedly embarrassed the People Democratic Party team and the governor, we are said to have been subsequently attacked allegedly by some gun talks and sustained various degree of injury in the attack. Why I condemn the booing of the governor and the PDP team and the entourage, I am particularly pained that some ungodly people in some quarters have linked me to the unfortunate saga. It is against this backdrop that I have deemed it necessary to make the following clarification. That I was invited to the palace of the Oba of Benin for a very important ceremony, which I did not even attend with my friends. And that the private ceremony, which had no bearing at all with politics, took place hours after the Boeing incident happened outside the palace too that I was not privy to the ugly incident during the Gordon Obaseki, Governor Gordon Obaseki reportedly Boeing. Three, that as a responsible citizen and elder statesman who respects consti constitution authority, I would not subject or submit myself to any act that tends to disrespect or undermine the constitutional authority wherein a Doe state or any other state governor in that matter. Four, that I sincerely frown at the bizarre act of disrespect for constitutional authority by the crowd of young men who reportedly became unruly in the sight of engaging of the People's Democratic Party National Campaign Council and Governor Gordon Obaseki at the Palace of the Oba of Benin. Five, that I have never and ever will be a part of any plan, plot, action, or inaction to embarrass our most relevant father, Oba Ewerewe too, who is non-patriotic and is not a politician, and who plays the role of a father 
to all sons and daughters of the great Benin kingdom. Six, that I was not associated with the activities of the unruly crowd and therefore could not have been sent to the palace by me to embarrass the People Democratic Party entourage, including the state governor, whom I respect as the number one citizen of the state. Seven, that I have equal measure of respect for other state governors who were at the and who are the engagement with Governor Gordon Obaseki, some of who are my personal friends, and could not have encouraged any plot to boo or embarrass them. Eight, that just as I was not privy to the ugly incident outside the palace of the Oba of Benin, our great kingdom, our reserve our reserved royal father, Oba Ewere II, was also not even aware of any that anything that transpired outside until later when he was briefed. Nine, that those who made institution linking me with the ugly incident were just trying to drag me into their politics, creating the impression in certain quarters that I am responsible for their rejection by the people. 10. That I stated solemnly that I am in no position as a role model to our, t our youths and teenagers to look up to me for guidance and support. I cannot underrate my, my leadership position on, to direct them in an indirect action against or disrespect any member of the society. 11. That for the record, our ready, our Extreme high Oba of Benin, Ewerewe, will not at any time condone any such act of indiscipline by the youth of Benin. Twelve, that I urge my good people of Edo State Associated and supporters to rest assured that I remain the person whom they have good neighboring and committed relationship with, promoting peace, sanity, and orderliness in our society. 13. That I have always preached to the hearing of everyone that the ambition of any man is not worth the blood of an Edo light. 14. That I have called on all Edo people to join hands to ensure that the ensured violence in the in the event of politics and parties coming on to election coming forth at the September 19 election governorship election in the state. 15. God bless good people of Edo State. God bless Edo. God bless our Oba, our great Oba. Oba Atokbeye is a Captain Ehosa writes this on Sunday, July the 26th. 2020. I am just setting the record straight. I have nothing to do with anything that happened. I was personally in the palace to grace an occasion with my good Oba. Well, you've heard Captain Ehosa setting the record straight, saying that, my people, I have nothing to do with what happened in Edo State. And he highlighted 15 points going back to say, you know what, I have nothing to do with this. I am a responsible person and I behave myself. And as such, I don't want anybody or anything to stain my personality. Don't forget that the same day, that very same Saturday, the Obar of Benin was receiving his son in the christening where he received his son, the baby boy that was born May 18th, was being dedicated and was being named, you know, at the, at the palace. His mother came with some friends and family and she brought him to the father who carried him. We did a video on that. You can refer to that. That's the Oba uh, dancing with his newborn baby. He carried the boy and began to dance and everybody was celebrating with the Oba and saying what a father he was, you see. So this was what was happening. And the Captain Ahosa, we put the pictures, you can see. He was actually in the palace at the time of this whole incident celebrating with the Oba of Benin. The Oba had a, part, uh, had a you know, had a meeting that was going on that same day the picture you have seen of Obana passing by uh, there was an umbrella an umbrella being held over him yes that was the same event and um that day we saw a lot of things that happened and it was quite unfortunate that some youths you took it they they behave they behave very unruly going to the palace of the Oba of Benin to make such noise that was uncalled for we respect people and we treat them with such accord and we don't do that is wrong i know that the Oba of Benin at some point will address this indecency that was done by some people no matter your political differences keep it to yourself is irrelevant is unconstitutional and should not be 
done at all. Anyway, my people, the Oba of Benin uh, was there and um, this was done and it was briefed on it. We've not heard from the Oba of Benin personally, but we believe it's going to be addressing the matter in a very, 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 very soon. And we're going to be hearing about it. We're going to be hearing um, all that the Oba has to say, all that happened on that day. Well, my people, this is what is happening right now. Uh, Captain Ehosa is cleaning himself away from it, that he has nothing to do with it. What do you think? God bless you. Bye for now.